Do you ever wonder as you wander through the nighttime wilderness just what is going on with that giant spoon in the sky? Hi everyone, it's Carrie from the Wilderness Center. And sometimes I like to stay up late and look at the stars. There's so much to see in the night sky. And one of the things that most people can spot is the Big Dipper. But not many people know just how cool this big spoon really is. First, let's get some vocabulary straight. The Big Dipper is not a constellation. In astronomy, there are 88 recognized constellations. The Big Dipper is not one of them. Technically, it's called an asterism. That means it's a group of stars having a popular name, but not a real constellation. Oh, but don't feel sorry for the Big Dipper. It's actually part of a constellation called Ursa Major, which is Latin for greater bear. Now, I know what you're thinking. This spoon doesn't look anything like a bear, but check this out. Here's the Big Dipper as we know it, but here is old Ursa Major. Totally looks like a bear, right? There are many stories about this big bear in the sky, and one of my favorites comes from the ancient Greek. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Callisto. Oh, look at me, I'm so pretty. And there was a jealous wife. Oh, I've got to do something about that cute girl. My husband keeps looking at her. I'm Zeus, I'm the husband, I'm pretty powerful, but mm, oh well. Hey, I've got an idea. I'm gonna turn that Callisto into a bear and then I'm gonna throw her up into the heavens where she can stay forever and my husband and I can live happily ever after. And that's how we have a great bear in the sky. But not all of the stories about the Big Dipper or Ursa Major have to do with a love triangle and someone being thrown up into the sky. There's a Native American tale that actually has to do with a bear and a pot. They thought that the handle of the Big Dipper were three hunters who were going on a bear hunt. Should they get lucky, they had that pot right there to cook the bear. So let's talk about these three stars and the pot or, as we know them, the seven stars of the Big Dipper. There are four stars that make up the scoop part of it, and three stars that make the handle. Each of these stars has a name, and the brightest star in this asterism is named Alio. It's the brightest star in Ursa Major, and the 34th brightest star in the whole sky. If you live in the Northern Hemisphere, there's a good chance that you can find the Big Dipper. And if you can find the Big Dipper, you can use that asterism to find all kinds of other things in the sky. It's called star hopping, and it is a really cool thing to know. But just in case you aren't sure what the Big Dipper looks like, let's have a delicious snack. To make this Big Dipper treat, you'll just need some mini marshmallows and some pretzel sticks. On your plate, lay out the design of the Big Dipper using seven marshmallows and then connect them with the pretzels. Voila! A starry snack! Looking up at the night sky is some of the best entertainment I've ever seen. There's so much to learn and so much to see. Stars, constellations, galaxies, all kinds of stuff. Maybe you can stay up late one night and look at the sky and find a few constellations of your own. Hmm, how many marshmallows would it take to make that one. Something to think about until next time when we wander and wander through the wilderness again.